This video was brought to you in part by Fomora 9, and thanks to them, we will be giving away a brand new pair of AirPods Pros, and if you want to enter, stick around to the end of the video to find out how. Welcome back to another episode of Cash Quarantine. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the comfort of his own living room, Corey D. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cash Quarantine, the show where we not only give away money, but we also donate it. The way this show works is that for every COVID-19 related question that someone gets right, they will receive $10. There are 10 questions in total, and if they complete the total of the 10 questions, they will receive a $100 total grand prize. And to add on top of that, for every amount of money they earn, we will match that amount of money and we will donate it to a COVID-19 fund. We have some great contestants here today, folks, and I am very sure that they will do very well in this game. Let's test and see how much they know about COVID-19. Let's get ready to do Cash, Cash Quarantine. quarantine. <laughs> okay, we have our first contestant here today on Cash, Cash Quarantine. quarantine. Who, who are you, good sir? I'm Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a friend of CDS. Uh, I'm bored. <laughs> you want to make some cash. quick cash? Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. Well, are you ready to go and get to our first question here? Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So, our first question is... Gosh dang it, it's not loaded. Come on, load. <laughs> Our first question, what is COVID-19? Is it A, a disease, B, a cake, C, a bird, <laughs> or D, an animal? Uh, let's see, see, I'm going to have to say A, a disease. Okay, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if you got it correct. Yes, he did. It is a disease. You're, let's go. That's $10 <laughs> in your pocket right now, good sir. We are going to move on to the second question. It's going to get a little bit difficult as time moves on. So right, let's, let's get see. started into the second question. So out of these groups, who can the disease be the most fatal to? Is it A, someone with asthma? B, older people? C, someone with diabetes? Or D, all of the above? I'm going to say D, all of the above. Is that your final answer? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's right. It is D. Very good, <laughs> sir. That is now $20 in your pocket. Let's go. Now it's time to move on to question number three. How are you feeling about this so far? Uh, so far, I'm feeling pretty great, but it's going to get harder. So Okay. Keep that, going. That's a good mindset. That's a good mindset. <laughs> okay. Question number three. How long can someone be sick? with the virus before developing symptoms? Is it A, nine days, B, 14 days, C, 20 days, or D, four days? Uh, I think number 14 sounds really familiar, so I'm gonna go with that. So B, is that your final answer? Yep. And he's correct, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Derek has now earned himself $30 in his pocket. He's doing fairly well. That's pretty good. Let's go. You're about to go into question number four. You feeling the heat yet? No, sir. Okay. I'm great. Okay. Let's go into question number four, ladies and gentlemen. Question number four. Where does the coronavirus get its name? Is it A, from the beer? B, the virus has a halo. C, it's the Chinese term for virus. Or is it D, name of a cinematic film? You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two. I'm going to C. C, Chinese term for virus. Is that your final answer? Sure. 
Okay. Let's see if he's correct, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Unfortunately, it is actually B. The virus has a halo. If you don't know, oh, the coronavirus actually, when looked under a microscope, has a little halo above the little rings around it. So it kind of looks like a halo. So that's where it gets its name. Oh, yes. Well, but right. overall, you did fairly well. You did go and actually get $30 in total, which is pretty good. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be giving that to you. How do you want it paid out? PayPal, cash? What's it going to be? Um, that doesn't matter. Okay. Well, I'll figure, we'll figure it out after this show. Hey. But you just earned yourself $30. That's pretty good. You're the first contestant on here, so there's more to come. We'll see if they can beat your score. But until then, you're the top person. <laughs> yes, for sure. As well as that, uh, is there anything you want to say before we move on? Um, no, thank you. Nope, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming on the show. We'll see you around. Like I said, we will be matching this amount of money and we'll be donating it to a COVID-19 fund. So the $30 he made, we will match that and donate it to a COVID-19 fund. So you're doing great things out here, Derek. <laughs> Before we continue on with the show, I want to give a quick shout out to this show sponsor of today, Filmora 9. Filmora 9 is an easy to use video editing software with tons of titles, transitions, and effects that you can use. As well as this, there's also lots of other effects and transitions over available on filmstocks.com that you can go and download and add into the program and use and it just works so perfectly. I've been using this program for roughly around four years now and it has just been stupendous. It makes editing a breeze, especially if you want to get stuff done really quick and you don't even want to hop into Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're a creative person who's looking to go and create YouTube videos or just family home videos in general, then you probably want to check out Filmora 9. The program is absolutely free to get started, so if you want to go and try it out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to actually check out the program and test it for yourself. Once again, I want to thank Filmora9 for sponsoring this video. Welcome guys, back to Cash Quarantine. So we have our next contestant here today and her name is Annalise. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty well myself. Are you ready to make some money? Yes, I am. Okay, let's get started with the first question. Once again, we have the first question. What is COVID-19? Is it A, a disease? B, a cake? C, a bird? Or D, an animal? A. A, a disease. Is that your final answer? Uh, yes. Okay. A, it is correct. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Annalise has now walked away with $10 in her pocket so far. Let's see if she can go all the way up to 10. She's going in the question too. How are you feeling so far? Uh, pretty good, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a good mindset to have. Let's go into <laughs> question number two, ladies and gentlemen. Question number two, out of these groups, who can the disease be the most fatal to? Is it A, someone with asthma? B, older people? C, someone with diabetes, or D, all of the above? D. D, is that your final answer? Yes. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, let's see. It is indeed D, you were correct. So now you have $20 in your pocket. That is very good. We're going into question number three. Still feeling pretty good? Yeah. Okay, we're going into question number three. Question number three is, how long can someone be sick with the virus before developing symptoms? Is it A, nine days, B, 14 days, C, 20 days, or D, four days? I'm gonna say B. B, is that your final answer? Yes. Okay, let's see, ladies and gentlemen. It is B, you now have $30 in your pocket. You are going into question number four, I think you are uh, gotten the farthest than anyone else before. So 
if you get this next one, you're going to be ahead. Perfect. So let's go into question number four. Question number four is, where does the coronavirus get its name? Is it A, from the beer? B, the virus has a halo? C, it's the Chinese term for virus? Or D, it's the name of a cinematic film? I'm going to go C. C, a Chinese term for virus. Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if she got it. Oh, unfortunately, it was actually B. The virus has a halo. But you did actually do pretty well here. You've walked away with $30. That is still pretty good. And of course, I will be matching that value and donating it to a COVID-19 relief fund. So, overall, you did very well. How do you think you did overall? Um, decent, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. You did, you did very well. That's a hard question, I think, for a lot of people. Thank you once again for coming on to the show. Is there anything you'd like to add before we go to the next contestant? I don't know. Just stay safe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You too. Hello, everyone. We are back with our third contestant, and we have here with us Sammy. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. Are you ready to make some cash and test your knowledge on the COVID-19 virus? Oh, yeah, I definitely am. Okay, let's get in to the first question. First question is, what is COVID-19? Is it A, a disease? B, a cake? C, a bird? Or D, an animal? A. A, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed A. That means you so far have $10 in your pocket. You feeling so good okay. so far? I'm feeling great. Okay, let's move into question number two, folks. Question number two, out of these groups, who can the disease be the most fatal to? Is it A, someone with asthma? B, older people? C, someone with diabetes? Or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. D, all of the above, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay, let's see, folks. Indeed, it is D. That now means you have $20 in your pocket. Yeah. We're going into pocket question somewhere. number three. You're doing good so far. I have a lot of faith in you. Let's go into question number three. Question number three. How long can someone be sick with the virus before developing symptoms? Is it A, nine days? B, 14 days, C, 20 days, or D, 4 days? B, 14 days. B, 14 days, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Okay, let's see. B is correct. You have now earned yourself $30 in your pocket. We are going to question number four. You feeling the heat or you think you're doing pretty well? I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well? Okay. You think you're going to, you think you're going to, be able to get through question number four. No one's gotten past question number four so far, so. Ooh. You, you oh, might nice. be the first one. If you get this right, you'll be the first one. All righty, well, I'll be the first one then. Okay, let's go through to question number four, folks. Question number four, where does the coronavirus get its name? Is it A, from the beer? B, the virus has a halo? C, it's the Chinese term for virus? Or D, it's the name of a cinematic film? Ooh. You have five seconds to answer. Five, C. four, three, two, one. You said C? C. Mm -hmm. C. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see if you got it correct. Let's see C. Unfortunately, it was actually B. The virus has a halo. When looked under a microscope, the virus has like little stems. And above those stems is actually a little halo. So that's where it gets its name. All right. But you still walked away with $30 in your pocket, which is pretty good. You think you did all right, though. Yeah, that one was definitely uh, one that I had not heard of quite yet. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty difficult one overall. But you did your best, and you still walked away with $30. And, of course, we're matching it, and we're donating it to a COVID relief fund. So, you still also donated $30 as well. So, once again, thank you for coming on. Is there anything you'd like to say? Uh, 
stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you're practicing social distancing. And thank you for what you're doing and, you know, the sponsor for, you know, matching these costs to, you know, provide relief for people that really need it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. We all need to stay safe during this time. Everyone needs to know how big of a deal this thing is. While there are a lot of reasons to go outside, it is best to stay inside if you don't have to go out. Uh, still obviously stay active and you still want to obviously get in the fresh air. So, yeah. Well, folks, that's about going to do it for our show here. I just want to quickly make sure to tell you guys that if this video gets 100,000 views, I will be giving away a pair of AirPods Pros. And in order to actually enter it to receive those AirPods Pros, what you got to do is, of course, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Comment down below telling me that you did indeed enter. And of course, follow me on Instagram so I will be able to have a place to contact you so I can actually say or not if you won. This show was, of course, inspired by Quinn 92s Quarantine Green. I thought it was an amazing concept, but I wanted to tweak it a little bit. So I do want to give him a quick shout out. Go ahead and follow him over on Instagram and go and make sure you tune into his show on Friday to get a chance to be on his show. As well as that, go ahead and check out his music. He is a pop artist and he makes some great stuff. So I really recommend that you go and check his work out. As well as that, if you guys do want to see more of these, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If this video gets 100,000 views and 10,000 likes, I will make sure to do another one of these. And who knows, we might even get some special guests in here. Maybe some other YouTubers. We'll have to wait and see. But whatever the case, I have been Corey Dean. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.